I'm Jim Schmidt at JS Motorsport. It's 104 degrees, so that's why I'm not wearing a shirt. But what I'm going to do is show you how to find top dead center on a Norton. You need one of these. This is a top dead center tool or a piston stop tool. What you want to do is rotate the engine in the direction that it runs and look through the spark plug hole with a flashlight. And you'll see the exhaust valve extend into the combustion chamber. When it gets all the way out there, stop and turn it backwards just barely until the exhaust valve starts to recede. Now I can rotate the engine forward until it hits the stop and then rotate it backwards. The piston goes down to the bottom and then comes up and hits the stop again. Hits the stop and hits the stop. Then guess it made it in the middle. Now I want to mount the degree wheel. I've got a bolt with a jam nut. I screw it into the crankshaft nut. Tighten up the jam nut. And then I've got a wire mounted to the crankcase for a pointer. I'm going to set that at zero. Now I'm going to step over, put the bike in fourth gear, spin it one direction, record what the number is, spin it the other direction, record the number again, and split the difference and rearrange the degree wheel so you're at bottom dead center. Okay, now I've split the difference between the numbers and I've adjusted the degree wheel so it points at bottom dead center. When you do this operation, you don't want this nut too tight. You want to be able to adjust this degree wheel without turning the motor. So anyway, I split the difference between the numbers. Then I took the rear wheel and turned it until I found the number in the middle. Then I spun the degree wheel and lined it up at bottom dead center. What I've done is shown you bottom dead center, actually, because the piston's at the bottom. So you want to adjust the degree wheel. So it's on bottom dead center. Some rotors have two lines, 180 degrees opposite each other. So if this is bottom dead center, this is top dead center. If you don't have two lines, you'll have to remount the degree wheel, spin the engine 180 degrees so you can make your marks at top dead center. At this point, you want to remove the degree wheel and make a mark on your stator at top dead center. Use a center punch and one little dot of white out. Then reinstall the degree wheel. Only needs to be hand tight. Put the pointer on top dead center. Then rotate the engine backwards until you get to 28 degrees before top dead center. Remove the degree wheel again and make another mark on your stator with this line showing where 28 degrees is before top dead center. At that point, you can time your motorcycle with a timing light. 